Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result that in a metric space, every convergent sequence is bounded. So we are familiar with the concept convergent sequence. So let us try to understand what is meaning of bounded sequence. Bounded sequence, that means in a simple language, we can say there should be some positive real number such that distance between any two points of a sequence should be less than or equal to that M. So then we say the sequence is bounded and our target is to prove the same. So here we will consider any arbitrary matrix space I have already considered. I will take any sequence which is convergent and my target is to prove this definition that D of Xn comma Xm should be less than some positive real number. So let us start to work on it. Okay. Uh, yes. So let us take one convergent sequence. Let Xn be a convergent sequence and xn converges to x. So I, have, I am assuming you one convergent sequence which converges to x and we have to prove that it is a bounded sequence. Let me mention to prove that xn is bounded sequence. Okay, so let me show here. Let us draw a diagram so the concept will be clear to us. So this is our matrix space xd. This is our matrix space xd. I am assuming any convergent sequence. So suppose this is x1, this is x2, this is x3, x4, x5, x6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. So suppose it converges to a point x. Okay. And we have to prove that it is a bounded sequence. So I'm going to use the definition of convergent sequence here. Let me write. We have, we have this important information Xn converges to X. So let us use the definition of convergent sequence. What is the definition of convergent sequence? For given epsilon greater than zero, there exists N belongs to set of natural number such that D of Xn comma X less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N, right? So one epsilon we take. So here I'm taking epsilon is equal to one. Okay, in the same definition. So therefore for, so I'm choosing epsilon one here, there exists remaining definition will be same n belongs to set of natural number such that D of Xn comma X less than epsilon we write, but here epsilon is one one for all n greater than or equal to capital N, right? So uh, let me show in this diagram. So suppose our n is 6, okay? We are assuming for this diagram, I'm assuming n is equal to 6. That means all terms whose suffix greater than or equal to 6, distance between x and x is less than 1. That means distance between x6 and x is less than 1 distance between x7 and x that is also less than 1 and for all remaining points the distance between xn and x is less than 1. So now the question is remaining for these five terms getting that means we have considered all terms which are greater than or equal to n okay for capital N but see we need to consider the previous terms also just like x1 x2 and so on x n minus 1 and for this example for x5. So what will I do? I am choosing here let r is equal to r is equal to maximum of d of x1 x getting the point distance between x1 and x comma d of x to x that means distance between x to and x can you guess the next term obviously distance between x3 and x getting so distance between x3 and x i'm choosing the maximum of them comma d of x4 and x okay in this way i will continue up to d of uh, I should write here dot 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 d of x n minus 1 and x 
and for this example x5 and x getting x again minus 1 and all remaining terms just like x6 and so on which are less than 1 that means for n greater than or equal to capital all remaining terms having distance from x is less than 1 so here i will simply say 1 so i'm choosing the maximum of them so we know that all terms which are greater than or equal to 6 having distance from x is less than 1 so this is less than 1 and i'm uh, selecting the distance of all remaining points from x okay and i'm taking the maximum of them so obviously we will have then then distance between xn and x is less than or equal to r i should write less than or equal to r for all n belongs to set of natural number okay so let us try to understand the difference between this statement and this statement here distance between x n and x is less than one but this is true true only for n greater than or equal to capital n and this statement is true for all natural numbers n belongs to set of natural numbers okay so so much important thing we have stated here so let me call it as this is one i'm going to use it now okay so i think some more space is required i need to remove this diagram make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us focus on our target okay what is our target we have to prove the sequence is bounded that means finally we should prove distance between any two points of sequence is less than or equal to m okay this thing we have to prove so we have achieved our target up to this step so then i will consider distance between xn and xm i am choosing any arbitrary points n and m i am going to use triangle inequality so for triangle inequality three points are required two are already there so i am taking x also third point so triangle inequality says this is less than or equal to d of xn x plus d of x xm okay by triangle inequality so if you want you can mention by triangle inequality so this is equal to by symmetry d of x n x plus d of x x same is same as d of x m x okay but now here in one we have stated it is less than or equal to r so this is less than or equal to r this one is also less than or equal to r since it is true for all natural numbers you can take n m whatever you want obviously it is true for uh, getting all, all natural numbers so r plus r 2r so what we get d of xn xm less than or equal to 2r for all n comma m belongs to set of natural number right see same thing we have got just at a place of m we have got 2r but doesn't matter it is also positive real number so i can declare the definition is satisfied therefore the sequence xn is bounded therefore sequence xn is bounded so in this way we have completed the proof make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you